Hi beauties! Welcome back to Hi Coco's channel. Hi Coco! I'm Amy. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between physical and chemical sunscreens. So let's start off with the importance of wearing sunscreens. Sunscreens really help to protect our skin from sun damage. Sunscreens prevent premature aging of skin as well as acne scar pigmentation development. So if you're having active breakouts at the moment and you don't wear a sunscreen, it's more likely for your pimples to develop into pigmentation. And it also helps to lower the risk of skin cancer. As you guys might know, New Zealand has really strong UV rays, so it's really important to wear a sunscreen every day. And for when to use sunscreens? I think it's really important to use sunscreens every day, despite the weather condition. So even in rainy and windy days, it is still important to put sunscreen on just because the rain drops as well as white clouds tend to reflect the UV rays even more, causing further damage. Therefore, you should wear a sunscreen every day in all weather conditions, but obviously not at night. We all know that wearing sunscreens is really good for our skin, but the only downside is that if you're not careful about what type of sunscreen you're wearing, and if you don't cleanse it properly, it can cause acne problems. And this brings us to the reason why we need to be more careful about what type of sunscreen we choose. And there are two main types of sunscreens, physical, which works to reflect the UV rays, and the chemical ones, which act to absorb the UV rays. Let's start off with physical sunscreens. As I mentioned before, physical sunscreens form a layer on top of your skin, and therefore it reflects the UV rays. And the UV rays don't get to penetrate through your skin at all. The sunscreen itself doesn't get absorbed into your skin either, causing less irritations, which makes it more suitable for acne prone skin, as safe for sensitive skin as well as kids. So when you're looking for a sunscreen, if you see zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, that's what it makes it a physical sunscreen. The only downside about those two ingredients is that it forms a white cast. The reason being that both zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are um, white colored mineral powders be quite hard to blend out and can dry skin out as well. This makes physical sunscreens not ideal for beauties with dry skin, but it could be a go-to for people with oily or acne prone skin because it really helps to control the excessive oil level. But nowadays, brands are launching physical sunscreens that have a soft finish as well as leaving a less white cast. A few of the physical sunscreens we have at High Coco are the Misha All Round Safe Block Mild Sun, in this free daily mild sunscreen. And this one is a really good one. I tried this one before and I really like it. It's the Round Lab 365 Dermarine, as well as the Corsara X Snail Essence Sun. Another one that we have is the Clear's Midday Blue UV Shield. And moving on to the chemical sunscreens, which is the most common ones on the market. If you can't find zinc oxide or titanium dioxide in the ingredient list, it's pretty safe to call them a chemical sunscreen. Chemical sunscreens will actually penetrate down into the skin and they will absorb all the UV rays and convert it into heat and release from the body. The positives of chemical sunscreens is that it covers all the negatives of physical sunscreens. First of all, chemical sunscreens tend to leave no white cast at all and they also tend to have a lighter formula. It will be more lightweight while providing a higher protection. It can be easily applied onto the skin and will sit better on the makeup as well. One thing to keep in mind is that for chemical sunscreens to come into effect, you have to wear it 30 minutes before you leave the house. However, it is true that chemical sunscreens are more prone to free radical damages and it can be a little bit irritating for sensitive beauties because it is chemicals penetrating down into the skin. Nonetheless, in order to reduce the risk of possible skin damages, chemical sunscreens usually include antioxidant ingredients such as vitamin C and vitamin E. This helps to protect skin from free radicals and to prevent possible breakouts. Some of the chemical sunscreens that have a high cocoa include Clear Soft Airy UV Essence and the Nisha or Round Safe Block, the Aqua Gel and the Essence Sun. Corsair X Aloe Soothing Sun Cream as well as the Gore Green Comfort Sun. The Dr. Jart Every Sunday Toned Up Sunscreen and the Sun Fluid. And the Neogen Daylight Protection Sunscreen. 
To wrap it up, this is the type of sunscreen we would recommend you to use depending on your skin type. Oily skin physical and dry skin chemical. If you have sensitive or acne prone skin, you might want to go for a physical sunblock because they cause less irritation as they don't enter the skin. However, if you wear makeup daily or if you stay outdoors more often, you should go for a chemical sunscreen because they are more water and sweat resistant and in the meantime they are more lightweight so they will sit better on the makeup. So that was it for the difference between a physical and a chemical sunscreen. Hope that helped you with picking the right sunscreen for yourself. And if you have any other questions about sunscreens in general, just leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye beauties! Let's be pretty! Oh my god. Yeah. That was a fun reaction. Oh. But nowadays, bronze. Bronze? Bronze. Oh my god, bronze. And nowadays, bronze are launching. But nowadays, bronze are launching bronze brands. Oh my god. <laughs>